Hi, my name is Veronica Barajas with MyWigglesAndGiggles.com and I'd like to share with you how to tell a bedtime story. Now this can be a lot of fun, time to use your creativity and, and imagination, um, you know, and making up your own stories maybe of, you know, pastimes or when you were a kid or even some of the old school, you know, Disney or uh, Dr. Seuss stories. Um, but definitely, you know, result back to your your books. Uh, a lot of the times bedtime stories are fun. Uh, you can start out uh, giving bedtime stories in the bathtub a lot of the times to help kind of ease them into it. You know, if you want to do a few books a night, you can start one in the bath in the bath routine. Um, and then you can read a bedtime story to them while they're brushing their teeth. And these can all be related to your bedtime routine. Um, so those kind of help out as well. Um, and ultimately, you know, a nice cuddle in, in their, their bed or whatnot, or even in their crib. Um, if they're in a crib, uh, definitely try to find an area where you two can cuddle up and have a bedtime story. Um, and then, you know, once they're finished, you know, put them in their crib. But if they have a bed already, or if they're sleeping in a bed already, um, this is a great time to cuddle up, you know, bond with them. And a lot of the times if you ask them to read to you, they'll take part in that. They love it. You may not understand what they're saying, but uh, you know, it's fun for them. They believe that they're reading as well. So just have fun with it and you can use your own bedtime stories or you can make up stories from the day or, you know, you can result back to the book. So whatever your preference is, it's going to be a good one.